the dig site. We're just finishing up, and Susan comes up. And she opens her hand. She's got two pieces of bone, only about this big. And, and I says, is there more of it? She said, there's a lot more. I believe that the tail's going that way and the skull is going this way, but we're just gonna have to dig it up and see. And I looked at it and I looked at him. I said, is that T-Rex? He said, yes, and I think it's all here. I'm absolutely certain this is gonna be the best thing we ever found and it's gonna be a complete T-Rex. In your life, you don't hope to find something that good, but we did. It's a good American tale. Unfortunately, it had a bad ending for a couple real brilliant paleontologists. We started a long time ago naming dinosaurs. The name Sue for Susan Hendrickson goes down in history. We were riding on top of the world. We had everything going for us. Less than a week after that, all hell broke loose. We were met by two FBI agents with a search warrant to take Sue and all records belonging to Sue. But they took everything. They went through all of our offices, all of our desks. Unconscionable. I can't imagine somebody being able to do this. Here in the United States of America, in a free country. People were so emotionally involved. There was a dream that the town had. It was our dinosaur. It was our lives that had been torn to pieces. Morris Williams never intended to sell that fossil. Morris Williams knew exactly what he was doing. People said, had we known you were on his ranch, we would have warned you. It was us against the United States government. Of course, they're not going to like what we're doing. That's the nature of what we do. The guys were called conspirators who were creating this scheme to steal things and sell them illegally. When you make the most fantastic discovery, a lot of people want a piece of it.